Hello students, how are you? Hope you are safe at home. Now let me ask you a question. How do you spend these lockdown days? Come on, tell me. Okay, some say that they played a lot and some others say that they watch TV and some others say that they paint a lot of pictures, right? And I'm glad to know that I have such a lot of little artists in my class, okay? And how do you paint? Come on, tell me. How do you paint a picture? I take drawing book in my hand to paint and colors that are bright to paint. I paint houses and we were passing by. I like painting everything I like. I take drawing book in my hand to paint and colors that are bright to paint. I paint houses and we were passing by. I love painting everything I like. Oof, what is that? So, what is a painting? Have you seen any painting? Come on, tell me. Okay, you might be familiar with Mona Lisa, right? Mona Lisa is a masterpiece painting by Leonardo da Vinci. You might have heard about Leonardo da Vinci too. I'm sure about it. And Mona Lisa has some peculiarities about it. What are, they, what are the peculiarities? Come on. Yes, the expression of the lady shown in the painting is somewhat, I mean, it is mysterious. Okay, the, no one can predict the expression portrayed in the painting. And what else are the peculiarities? Da Vinci has used some special techniques in this painting. And we do, though we don't know about this painting, we need some time to understand and analyze this painting, right? And what about this painting? What all things can you see in this painting? Okay. Ah, yes. You can see a coconut tree and you can see a river flowing. And a sunset is also portrayed. Okay. And what about this painting? Can you uh, identify the pictures shown in this painting? Okay. It is slightly tricky because it is not just one picture. There are so many pictures inserted in a single picture. At a glance, you can see only a picture of an old lady or an old person, right? And when you closely look at it, you can see two horsemen and two soldiers in it. Did you see the picture? Did you notice these soldiers and horsemen? Okay, good. And these kinds of pictures are mysterious because we require time to identify the picture or it is difficult to identify. Mysterious means something difficult to identify, something difficult to understand. So now you know the main meaning of the word mysterious and let me move on to the next painting. Look at this painting. Yeah, it shows the face of a person. This is called a portrait. And look at this painting. Yes, it shows, ah, yes, it shows natural beauty, right? It shows a uh, hill and a river, etc, etc. And this kind of, this kind, this kind of painting is known as landscape painting, okay? Now, you know the difference between landscape painting and portrait painting. Now, I want you to do something. Let me give you a homework for today. You want to write about your favorite painting. Write a paragraph about a favorite painting. Okay? Your favorite painting. You need to write only the name of the painting, the artist who painted it and how, do, how you liked that painting or why do you like that painting. That's all for today's class. We will continue in the next class with a new story called The Mysterious Picture. 
I am sure that you will like the story. Okay? So, stay home, stay safe.